I'm Josh Mosquera, the game director of Reaper of Souls. I'm Brian Kinrigan, lead writer of Reaper of Souls. So the new class is the Crusader, and their backstory is that they were founded at the same time as the, as the Paladin Order, but they are a much smaller, more specialized group. Uh, the, the Paladins went west to try to bring their Zacharum faith to everyone in the west, and the, the Crusaders were given a secret mission and sent off to the east, and that was, that was 200 years ago, and they disappeared into the wilderness of the east, and no one's heard from them since. But now they're back in a big way. I think the, uh, really the class started off with the, the idea that we wanted to sort of finally sort of realize that fantasy of the sort of knight in battle-scarred armor, right? For a game, for a medieval role-playing game, especially a gothic medieval role-playing game like Diablo, it always felt like a natural class to introduce to the game, like a, you know, the, the warrior in, in armor. And what we've done with the, the Crusader is we've been able to sort of play into that, that fantasy. So he uses his shield as a weapon, he's got the flails, but we also wanted to give him a twist. And the twist is that, you know, he can use his, his, his wrath to have abilities that allow him to, to attack monsters at range. So the ability to shift from close range to mid-range combat really gives a, the Crusader a very dynamic, a very tactical feel to the gameplay. So I would say the loot system is very different, especially our philosophy behind it. You know, we sort of looked at the way the live game was, was evolving over time, and we sort of came to the realization that at the end of the day, Diablo is all about loot, and to make sure that it's as memorable as possible, we wanted to make sure we were dropping less, better, and more epic items. So we really sort of went in and figured out how can we guarantee that happening. So we have the new smart drop system, which means that every time an item drops, there's a chance it's going to roll specifically for your class, and uh, it's just going to make sure you're going to be finding better items. Yeah, I think we we definitely listen to the community, and we we have a lot of ways to gather feedback from our players and the the, the online community, and we we definitely listen to all of that and pay a lot of attention, and we also just play the game a lot ourselves. So one of the the big things I always tell people is is the thing that you know everyone in the community is thinking or feels or they're playing, and they go, oh, I wish there was this thing. We've also had that experience of sitting at our computer either at work or at home and going, oh, I wish this happened like that. So there's, uh, there's a, a, a sort of a, a synergy to that feedback. Um, oh, go no, on. I was going to say, I, I think that's one of the things that we're really happy to, be, to announce is you know, the changes we made to the Paragon system. Um, specifically, like one of the things that you know, when the game came out, it really said, like, you know, we love the skills as a toolbox, but we really would like the ability to, to customize our character and tweak our you know, my barbarian the way I, I, I want them. And it's something that we felt as well, and we finally had the opportunity to deliver on that with the Paragon, the new Paragon level. So every time you level up, you're going to be getting Paragon points that you can spend to increase your strength or your vitality or your sort of adventuring stats, like you know, your movement speed and stuff like that. So that's definitely one of the, those elements that we, we heard it from the community and we heard it internally and says we want to give that to, uh, to our community. Right now we have no announcements to make, but the thing I will say is like, if you looked at, at, at the, the track record that we've done, so we focused on PC first, make sure that was awesome, and then we transitioned over and we brought the, you know, Diablo to the console, and now the whole team is sort of focused on getting Reaper Souls on the PC. So if you look at our, at our, at our track record, you can probably make a very safe bet for the, what the future might, have, might, be, might hold in store. I think it's having the Angel of Death as our villain. Um, these games have always been about the villain, hence the title, right? And, uh, and yet, um, this is the first time that you're going to fight an angel, the Angel of Death, no less, and it's going to change everything in this universe. Suddenly, you're not fighting a demon, and so nothing will ever be the same. And I think that's going to have a huge impact and give us a lot of opportunities in the Diablo universe moving forward. Yeah, for me, there's so many things uh, I'm really excited to see, to get, it, get you guys to, to play. You know, the new class, the new act, the changes to loot. But the one thing I will mention is a very small thing, but it, it for me is favorite. It's one of the behaviors we added to uh, the skeleton archers you see in, uh, in, in, in Westmarch. And 
as you get close to them, they back away from you, right? And that, that feeling, it just makes me feel like there's some malevolent intelligence behind uh, those monsters and just makes, makes them feel like they're, al they're alive and sort of reacting to me as a player. And I always love that.